So I leveraged TikTok talking about SEO uh, to grow my business. So over the past two and a half years, I have more than tripled my business. But let's start with an introduction, Tristan, to Austin Armstrong, who, by the way, was a guest on the Lab Code Agents podcast a year ago, almost to the day. It was December 15th, 2020 when that came out. Uh, so go check that one out. That was uh, episode 92, I believe. Uh, so now you're just getting you're getting an advanced version of Austin, whose team has grown dramatically over the last year, year and a half. So Austin, tell us a little bit about who you are. Your company is called Social T Pro, but give us more than that for anybody who doesn't know you or doesn't know you from TikTok or any other platforms. Yeah, hello, gentlemen. First of all, it's an honor to uh, do anything with you, let alone be back again a year later, uh, a year smarter, a year wiser, lots of failures along the way, but lots of successes as well. Um, I run a full service, uh, organic only digital marketing agency. Uh, we really built everything that we had on uh, backbones of SEO, search engine optimization. But over the last two and a half years uh, or so, I leveraged TikTok talking about SEO uh, to grow my business. So over the past two and a half years, I have more than tripled my business. As Jeff, you had mentioned, we, we went from a team of about three or four. We're now a team of 12. Uh, and over the past uh, a year, uh, we started helping other business owners specifically grow their businesses on TikTok as well, leveraging everything from just developing content strategy. So now we have in-house video editors, dedicated social media account managers. So we're all in on becoming a TikTok marketing agency. Dude, I love that. Where where would we start if we want to give it a shot on our own as business owners? Where, where do you suggest anyone as a business starts? Yeah, you have to start by really understanding who your target audience is. Uh, the core of all marketing is knowing who you're trying to reach and understanding the pain points, emotional triggers that would cause them to want to reach out to you in the first place. So really by starting outlining a really detailed buyer persona, what do they look like? How old are they? Uh, are they gender specific? Uh, what are their interests? What are their hobbies? What are their emotional pain points or emotional desires? And then factoring that in with what it is that you offer, the services that you offer, the products that you offer, how can you combine those two together to develop a really solid content strategy, at least understanding what questions that they have and we can get into some of the structure and stuff like that and how to develop a content strategy. But that is at its core of, of where you should start if you wanna resonate with who you're trying to reach.